Should we call this a good news or it's just normal? Hey, this is Echo Simpson. I'm on your channel again. Thank you very much for clicking and checking on my YouTube channel. My analytics says that a lot of you who watches my YouTube videos haven't subscribed. So do well to click on the subscription button and be a part of this beautiful family. I ask the question, should this be a good news for brothers and sisters and travelers around the world who really want to come and spend time or do business or collaborate, do whatever they want to do here in Ghana. Echo, echo, echo city. So you remember in early 2022, there was COVID and uh, there was total shutdown in the world. Everybody wasn't, people were not going, people were not coming. China, there was a lockdown. Ghana, there was a lockdown. USA, UK, and rest in peace to uh, those who died out of COVID, uh, who were infected with the virus, uh, with the coronavirus. Uh, you know, as time went on, countries started putting certain measures in place. Yes, to prevent the spread of COVID-19. I remember in Ghana, I think in March. Yeah, by then I was in Dubai. So when I got in Ghana in February, the next month there was like shut down. No, this is so unfortunate. Like, I mean, people were stranded. Uh, musicians who traveled outside to perform, they couldn't come back. You know, they had to spend like more than five months out there. It was a total shutdown in most of the countries. Even Ghana, I mean, uh, you couldn't go to the market. I mean, there were military men, you know, all around the place. Police, health personnel and all that, they were like, we should stay in the house because COVID is spreading. Yes, it was true because we saw some of the people who lost their lives during the COVID. It wasn't only in Ghana, it was in the USA. The USA, I think Italy and Spain, they counted a lot. And I think Brazil, they counted a lot of death from the COVID-19 uh, uh, virus, which was pretty sad. So rest in peace to all those people who passed away because of COVID. Definitely, there were some precautions, you know, that were put in place by the country. Yes, it can be Nigeria, Togo, wherever. In Ghana, I remember, you would have to do COVID uh, when you get to Ghana. Uh, you have to do the PCR test. Yes, you have to do some, you know, these kind of tests just to show that you don't have that uh, virus in your system. The first news that came into Ghana about COVID it was from a traveler who entered the country with that virus. And then it started spreading. And then the government was like, hey, nobody is supposed to go out. And there were regular updates from the government, from the president. Hello, my brothers and sisters, fellow Ghanaians, blah, 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 blah. Now, back to what we're going to talk about. A year ago, there was this instruction at the airport that when you're coming to Ghana, you need to have a test or vaccine. You need to take the vaccine in your home country before you get to Ghana. And when you get to Ghana, you're going to pay, I think, with like $150, and then they have to do a PCR test. And if you're negative, you have to go quarantine. But if you're not, if you don't have the virus, then you easily go in and do what you got to do. And people were complaining it was too much, blah, 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 blah. Now, the news that is coming today states that if you don't have the vaccine, or if you've not taken the vaccine, and you still want to come to Ghana, you're free to come without taking a vaccine. But when you get here, you would have to do the PCR test. So I took my time to read about the PCR test. So it's a test to identify if you have any trace of the coronavirus in your system as at that time. Yes. So when you get to Ghana now, if you don't have the if you're not fully vaccinated, or even if you're partially vaccinated, you would have to do the PCR test. The amount, I cannot be sure right now because uh, it wasn't stated in the news outlet that I read. So now let me read exactly what is going around with the COVID-19 issue. So now this is it. COVID-19 non-vaccinated passengers can now come to Ghana. Yes, without any hassle. And this is from Patrick Kuma Abuaji. He works with the Ghana Health Service. So this is what... The whole item with the Director General of Ghana Health Service, Patrick Abuaji, has announced that visitors who have not had a COVID-19 vaccination are now welcome to enter the nation. Hooray! Well, I'm saying hooray because of certain group of people that have spoken to me about, Echo, 
my religion, my belief, my principles won't allow me to take the vaccine, so I'm not coming to Ghana. And that is like putting Ghana in a, a kind of way, I would say in a bad position, but you know, in an awkward position where people think that the government is asking them to take these things by force. Well, it, it, it differs from one person to the other. But the good news is that if you don't want to take it now, the door is open for you to come to Ghana. Just that you have to do the PCR test. So he said that those who haven't had their shot will, however, undergo a PCR test on arrival. So be mindful that when you get to Ghana, you might even get a, is it a nose swipe or inside your throat, yeah, in your mouth, inside your throat. I think I had the throat one when I was coming from Ethiopia or somewhere like that. They had to put it inside. I was like, <laughs> it wasn't like a cool experience, but it was okay. I had to do it. So previously, what we had was that if you're not a Ghanaian and you are not fully vaccinated, you cannot come. But now you can come. But if you come in and you are not vaccinated, whether unvaccinated or partially vaccinated, you have to do a PCR test 48 hours before you travel to Ghana. And upon arrival, we will test you at the airport. So if you assuming you are coming from the USA, Canada, Jamaica, South Africa, when you get to Ghana, before you get to Ghana, you have to do a PCR test 48 hours. Yes. So that'd be like two days before your flight. And then when you get to Ghana, they will check that, the PCR test, and then they also have to test you uh, to see if you have that uh, chain of virus or whatever in your system. So basically, I just wanted to come out and let you know that Ghana has... Because, this is because in December, I keep saying it in my previous videos, in December, a lot of visitors are coming to Ghana. Yes, from all over the world, because Ghana is like the gateway to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know we'll be like, no, it's not getting to it here. But Ghana in December is the age. Everybody is coming to Ghana. I myself I'll be going to Accra to experience a few events here and there. So maybe I might meet you when you come to Ghana and say, hey, hello, Echo, I'll see you on YouTube. Because you have subscribed to my YouTube channel and then we grow this YouTube channel together. So hey, thank you very much for checking this out. This was a quick one to let you know that if you plan of coming to Ghana and you're scared, of the of taking the vaccine this time you can come in without the vaccine or partially vaccinated but when you get here you do a pcr test to show whether you have the virus in you or you do not have the virus put it up as a comment share this video and let everybody know that you can come to ghana without being vaccinated peace out